What's up, Ant City? So recently, I became a fan of Persona, but not like a super huge fan, like, oh, I've played every game in the franchise, I know every bit of media. I've only played Persona 5 Royal. But I did get, you know, the canon ending, the original Persona 5 ending, and the new ending in Royal. So, you know, I've done like everything with that game, I 100%ed it, I got all the trophies, so... I'm a big fan of Persona 5, I guess that's a more accurate thing to say, I'm a Persona 5 fan, but, you know... Because I've recently gotten into it, I decided I wanted to find a way to bring that to the channel. Because, you know, it's I really love that game a lot. Like, I just, I'm kind of fresh off of playing it. You know, I just finished Royal. I started watching the anime. It's been, uh, you know, kind of, it's not like the worst thing I've ever seen, but it's not amazing. But anyway, so yeah, to, to kind of like celebrate and talk about Persona more, I decided that this month would be the perfect month to upload a video about it because... Uh, as if you're a Persona fan, then you must already know that this month, I don't know when, I don't know what day, but this month, September, is the 25th anniversary of Persona. Like, you know, this year, 2021, September, is the 25th anniversary of Persona. Like, the whole series, you know, as a whole, is the 25th anniversary. And they've already confirmed, or there was maybe leaks or something, I, I haven't looked too deep into all this stuff like all these announcements and everything coming out i just know bare minimum information so from what i've heard we're getting seven announcements it's going to be seven different persona related things coming out and so i decided it would be fun to make a video of what my predictions for these seven announcements are going to be now keep in mind as i said i'm a new persona fan first of all i just played persona 5 royal i don't know about any of the other games uh, I haven't played 4 Golden yet, which I, I just need to buy it and play it. I haven't played that. Um, I don't know anything about the other games. Like, I, I'm fresh. I'm a fresh newbie Persona fan. So, I also haven't really looked too deep into any, like, leaks or rumors about what's going to be announced. So, this is purely just with the knowledge I have about Persona, which is very bare minimum knowledge. I wanted to make this list just, you know, because I thought it would be fun. So... Yeah, I just, you know, again, just before going into this, if you're looking for, like, a really in-depth, very informative, like, there's actual evidence <laughs> to back up my claims, then this is the video. This is just pure speculation, just a fun video. Wait for me to bring Persona onto the channel. So, I'm gonna go ahead and just jump right into the list. So, okay, one more thing before we get into the list really quick is I wanted to point out, just so no one gets confused, though order of the things i say in this video aren't by like probability i don't think like for example i'm gonna start with like number seven i don't think number seven is like the least likely and number one is the most likely there's no specific order to any of this it's purely just me like i just thought up ideas and wrote them down there's no like oh i think number seven is probably the least likely but number one's definitely gonna happen it's just like yeah these are things i think could happen in general like it's not a specific order so anyways into the list So the first thing I have on my list is a Persona 5 Royal anime. So the only reason I think this could happen is because I know for Persona 4, there was an anime for the original Persona 4, much like the one we have for the original Persona 5. There was an anime, but Persona 4 Golden also got an anime. So they did an anime for Golden, which was like the remake or remaster, I guess you could say, of Persona 4. So I think it's pretty likely that Persona 5 Royal also gets an anime just because, first of all, the game Royal, like the new content that was added from what I've seen, has been really well, re what? really well received. And uh, the Persona 5, the original Persona 5 anime, kind of is not as well received. So I think doing a new anime could, you know, first of all, save the name of the anime so people... Uh, don't just remember the Persona 5 anime for being trash. If they bring a Royal one, make it look like super clean, super nice, and they're doing the new content from Royal, the you know the new ending and all that stuff. I think that could be like that. That to me, that just sounds like a really good idea, and it would probably bring them like a lot of money, that kind of thing. So I think that one is a pretty likely candidate for what we could get as one of the seven announcements. But yeah, anyways, on to the next one. So the next thing I have on my list is a Persona 1 and 2 remake or remaster, but as a bundle. So the reason I say this is just, 
again, I don't know much about Persona specifically, but I have played a lot of games. And so I feel like what would make sense, because Persona 1 and 2, they're such old games. And, you know, the, in modern times, people don't really have a way to play those games anymore. So I feel like it would make sense to, especially because since they're so old, I think remaking Persona 1 and 2 could, like, it would be a really good idea and give people a chance to, you know, go through the story of that game. Obviously, if they're going to remake it, they can change up some little details, maybe, just to make it newer, make it have, like, a... I guess it gives older players, like, people who already played the originals, a reason to come back and play these two. There could be... There's millions of reasons why they might change stuff, but at least the main storylines will stay the same. I, I would hope. And they can, uh bring it to modern consoles like the playstation like the ps5 well mostly the ps5 because persona is like playstation only but uh yeah so i think doing remakes of those would work really well but the reason i say specifically in a bundle pack is just i feel like it's a good way to sell it you know just from what i've seen with other games like for example nintendo they did that super mario 3d all-stars where it had uh, mario 64 mario sunshine and mario galaxy all together because those are all older games so they brought those three together in one little bundle and you it's like one cartridge you could buy you can buy the cartridge now i don't think the persona one and two should be like one disc but at least selling them together in a bundle i feel like that would bring a lot of sales it would give people you know it would give people incentive to want to go buy those games because i know i would buy it if it was like a remake and it was like a bundle pack of both of them together i would definitely go buy persona one and two but also just because i'm a persona fan i want to learn more about the franchise you know but um I just think that that's a smart way to bring Persona 1 and 2 to modern consoles. But, I mean, the bundle part could be wrong. But I think a pers at least a Persona 1 and 2 remake, or at least like a remaster, an HD remaster, could happen. Like, I I, I think it could happen. But like I said, I don't really have a basis or evidence for this. It's just kind of a feeling I have. But, yeah. So, anyways, on to the next one. So, to kind of connect with the last item on the list i have for this one a persona 3 port so the reason i have persona 3 separate from persona 1 and 2 is well for one if you hear people talk about persona everyone talks about 3 4 and 5 i've like barely heard anyone talk about the first two games like anytime i hear people talking about persona it's 3 4 and 5 now i don't really know why but the only thing i can assume is persona 3 perhaps changed up like the recipe of persona games like maybe that's kind of what started the way persona games play now i don't really know but if that's the case then i feel like persona 3 being separate from 1 and 2 does make some sense um i don't know it could like i said with the whole bundle thing from the last one they could throw persona 3 in there too i don't really know but i know persona 3 is also kind of newer but and i know there's also multiple versions there's like the psp version and then the console version i don't really know too much about all that i just know where they exist so i feel like a persona 3 port as like its own thing could happen i don't really know it could be a bundle but either way i think that uh and again i don't really know how old persona 3 is so that one may need a remake or remaster too i'm not sure um but i just know persona 3 is really popular and a lot of people talk about it so i don't know if it's that old of a game like persona 1 and 2 like i don't know the timing between those but uh, so I think at least just porting the game over could work, but again, they could just do a remake, a remake or remaster of that, and they could just do the bundle with one, two, and three. I don't know, but I think at the very least, Persona Three being put onto more modern consoles like the PS5 or even PS4, probably PS5, would be a very good thing for the series. And you know, the fact we're getting like seven different things at this Persona event—I don't know when it is either. Um, but yeah, just the fact that we're getting all those announcements, I feel like pers Persona, something relating to Persona 3 or like the older games coming to newer consoles, to me, it just makes sense because it's the 25th anniversary doing something like that, giving more people a chance, especially because Persona 5 and Royal probably brought in, brought in a lot of new fans like me. Like I'd never even heard of Persona before 5. So I feel like bringing the older games onto newer consoles, giving more people access to it is just a smart move. But what do I know? Anyways, on to the next one. So continuing on the train of ports, the next item on the list is a Persona 4 Golden Port. So the reason this one is on the list 
is because Persona 4 Golden is only available on PC and PlayStation Vita, which to me is really surprising that they would have like a remake of a game and not put it on at least PS4. Like, I feel like at this point, Persona 4 Golden is just kind of overdue because that one was like, that one's a pretty recent game. It's like right before Persona 5. So like the fact that they never ported it over to newer consoles is just kind of weird to me now. I don't know how old Persona 4 Golden is though, but I'm assuming it's not that old, like to the point where they couldn't have put it onto the PlayStation 4 at least, because then you could play it on the PS5 even. But the fact that there's nothing, like there's not, like Persona 4 Golden's only on PC or PlayStation Vita is just weird to me. I feel like putting it onto PlayStation, it, it, this basically all ties back into what I was saying with Persona 3 and 1 and 2, just give more, give it, give more people access to the game, especially because Golden is like right before Persona 5 and it's like the remake version of 4 so I don't know why they wouldn't put it on console it's only on PC and Vita like that's weird to me so to me that one makes a lot of sense just porting that over to PlayStation 5 like why not I mean that would I would definitely buy it like I, I mean I don't own it yet I do have a PC so I could always buy golden on there but like I if I had the choice I'd rather buy it on my console but that's just me though that's your personal friends preference and then like even beyond just me though people who don't have a pc it would give them access to persona 4 golden on their playstations if they have a playstation and not a pc so like to me like persona 4 golden not being on playstation is a weird one to me but maybe like it's just older than i think it is i don't really know i as you know as i said newbie fan so anyways next item So the next thing I have on the list is Persona 5 Arena. So another thing that I do know about with the Persona series, with my very limited knowledge on the Persona series, is that I don't know if it's all the games, but I know at least three and four. I don't know about three, actually. I know four get has this spin-off series called basically they're called the like Persona whatever, like three, four, five. Well, there's not a five yet, but a Persona 3 or 4 whatever arena. And it's basically it's a fighting game so they're spin-off fighting games for the persona games but persona 5 hasn't gotten one yet so i feel like it would just make sense to kind of build on that popularity because they even did the persona 5 dancing game which i think persona 3 was the only one that had the dancing game so making a fighting game with persona 5 like as a spin-off kind of makes sense because they've done a persona spin-off before to be fair i don't know how successful those games were but i would assume they sold pretty well because it's a persona fighting game like who when he eat that up you know i know i would but again this, that, that's just me maybe it didn't sell that well i don't know but yeah so persona 5 arena game i think makes sense because uh we've gotten a persona 4 and i think a persona 3 one before so getting a persona 5 one and i actually don't know if those games are canon to the story or not um i don't know if like the because i know like for example persona 5 strikers well that one's i think that one's actually a direct sequel i don't think that one counts as a spinoff but uh, if it does count as a spin-off, then that one I know is canon to the Persona 5 original ending. So, if the Arena games are also canon, then it would make sense to bring that into Persona 5 and give us more lore, more content for Persona. And, well, you know, a fighting game is cool. So, like, getting to play as all those characters in, like, a completely different like a uh, style of game because persona like persona is an actual or at least persona 5 i think all the persona games they're turn-based combat so actually doing like real-time fighting would be cool so uh like again i know i would buy it and i'm gonna assume they those games sell pretty well usually but i don't know so anyways though on to the next thing Okay, so the next item I have on the list, this one's kind of vague because I don't really have a title for it, but based on how Persona 5 Royal ended, like if you've seen the, you know, true ending to Persona 5 Royal with the new content, the way it ends is kind of a cliffhanger and we don't have anything that connects to that ending as of right now. So like Persona 5 Strikers, that game doesn't actually connect to Persona 5 Royal's ending. So I feel like we need to be getting a Persona 5 Royal sequel at some point. And keep in mind, Persona 5 Royal came out October 2019. So it's been, what, two years now? I feel like we're kind of due for 
an explanation for that ending, you know, because it's been two years. I mean, I can't really talk because I just beat the game like the other day, but like, let's say I did buy the game when it first came out, or even people who did buy the game when it first came out, they've been waiting two years to get an answer to that. We've got nothing. So I feel like we're kind of due for that. And what better time than the Persona 25th anniversary, especially if there's seven announcements, like, I feel like a Persona 5 Royal sequel makes a lot of sense. Like, just giving us something that continues off of that would be really good. <laughs> like, because we, I just want to know. <laughs> like, I just want to know what that means. Like, what was happening there? It's just, it's a really big cliffhanger and they don't explain it. So, I really, really hope we get some sort of sequel to Persona 5. I feel like, or not Persona 5, Persona 5 Royal. So, yeah, I just feel like it's a good timing for it. Because it's the 25th anniversary, that game's been out for two years. So, at least announcing that there's some sort of sequel coming would be cool. So now we move on to the final object on the list. Okay, so the very last item on the list, it's kind of again another one of those timing things, Persona 6. So again, with this being the 25th anniversary of the Persona series, I feel like announcing a new main, like a new title, a new main entry in the series Besides, like, you know, Persona 5 Strikers being a continuation of 5. I feel like a whole new game just with its own. Because, you know, all the Persona games have their own separate storylines and characters. I feel like giving us a new game, you know, new characters, a whole new storyline, completely separate from 5, giving us something fresh and completely new for the 25th anniversary makes sense. Because, again, it's the 20, 25th anniversary. And I feel like this would be a good way to like whenever they do these seven announcements i feel like this would be a good way to end off all those announcements just um at least like confirm that it's coming persona 6 is on the way uh it doesn't have to be like oh yeah it's gonna release tomorrow like no just at least confirm that it's gonna be coming out give us something new and then it'd be even more modern than persona 5 royal was so like i feel like it'd be a really good game and like i feel like at this point with like the way technology's advanced and stuff i feel like things they could do with it are crazy but i don't know we'll just have to wait and find out but yeah i think persona 6 could definitely happen and i mean i would love to see it I, I, like again all these things on this list i would definitely be completely okay with but yeah so anyways guys that's it for my list so yeah that was just kind of like i said there's not really any evidence to support that these are going to happen this is purely me speculating so i could be completely wrong maybe none of these happen i don't know but this is just me using my bare my very minimal knowledge on the persona series and just what i know and what i've seen from like other games and like patterns i've seen like stuff like that just using all of that and kind of making my own list was the point of this video plus a way to tell you guys that i played persona and that i'm a fan so hey bro, send me all your persona stuff um you know you know you can talk to me on twitter which will link is in the description or in the about on the about page of my channel <laughs> you know it's kind of plug myself but no um yeah so this was just a way to tell y'all i'm you know i played persona and the anniversary is happening soon so i just wanted to kind of put out a video of my thoughts just kind of throw in my two cents you know like i said this isn't really a very informative video it's just kind of me just talking and speculating but yeah so i'm gonna probably look into this more um as like you know as i'm like after i record this and upload it, i'll probably be looking into it more and more see if there's maybe actually some actual leaks for any of this stuff or like maybe theories from people who are bigger into persona than i am i don't know um but i'm i, I can at least say that i'm very excited to see what's gonna be coming for um you know the persona series like uh, the announcements at this anniversary so i'm very excited for that and yeah, I can't wait for it to happen. And I don't know if I'm going to do like reactions or anything. I'll probably, at the very least, I'm probably going to post stuff about it on Twitter. But yeah, so go follow me there. If you haven't, go follow all my social medias. Because right now, actually, well, I don't know what when y'all are going to see this video. But I should be working on thumbnails for the next series that I'm doing. So if you want to go follow me on Instagram, I've been posting all my thumbnails there. Like my progress working on them. You know, I, I'm just plugging again. I need to stop. But, <laughs> but yeah, just go follow my social medias or mostly my Twitter if you want to see my reactions to the personas. But yeah. So anyways, guys, that was it for this video. Again, just me speculating. Nothing too crazy today. But yeah. Ooh, I burped. <laughs> but anyways, guys, till next time, 
If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button and that subscribe button. And if you really like this video, make sure you share it out to your manager, your coworker, your grandma, your grandpa, your auntie, your uncle. Oh, I was kind of spitting right there. Hold on. <laughs> anyway, um, if you really, really like this video, though, make sure you throw it down into that favorites playlist. But yeah, till next time, though, I'm excited for what Persona is going to be bringing up this this month. And, you know, if you guys have your own lists that of what you think is going to happen, let me know down in the comments. Or if you just agree with my list, or maybe you agree with most of my list, but just one or two items are off, or all of it's off, whatever. Just go put it down in the comments. Tell me what your predictions are. But, yeah, that's it for me, though. Till next time, I'll see you guys later. And peace. Have a good day or night.